Shawnee State won the NAIA National Championship. And starting for Shawnee State, Jaquiel Wells, the St. Francis grad. And Jaquiel joins us now. Jaquiel, thanks for spending some time with us tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Let me ask you this. National champion, has that sunk into you yet? What, what does that mean for you right now? Um, honestly, no, it hasn't sunk in yet. Um, it means a lot because we put a lot into this season. Um, dealing with COVID, the, the testing, not going home for holidays, having to um, isolate away from your family for a while. So it's been experience. The sacrifices the athletes have had to go through this winter have been immense. I, I, I got to think that when you win a national championship, it, it makes some of those sacrifices worthwhile. Yeah, because that's the ultimate goal. And when you come together, you get a group of guys. You think you can obtain it, like your stars, but as the games get closer and you get closer to that ultimate goal, it's like you're even more motivated. Like, I got to get it done. This hard work and all the sacrifice can't be for nothing. So it was definitely a, a great experience. Was there a key point of this season, maybe a turning point in the year, that all of a sudden the light clicked for this team and you guys realized not only are we are going to have a special season, we might be able to make some noise and win a national title? At first it started with a low point. We lost um, to a rivalry game to a team that we were supposed to beat. So, and we lost went on a road conference game, road conference game. So that, those two losses, end up being our last two losses of the season. But that road trip right there was the turning point. What did it feel like for you personally when, when the clock hit triple zero and you knew you were a national champion? Honestly, if you watch the, um, the tape, you can see me rush for the ball and throw it up in the sky. We practiced that prior to that. So it was finally like dreams turning into reality. Like it was finally there and we accomplished every goal we set out to. That's amazing that you, you actually practiced that moment. I know that's something going way back before your time. Jim Valvano, the uh, national championship coach for North Carolina State back in 1983, he would always have his teams practice cutting down the nets because he didn't want them to be unprepared when that time came. And you guys were not unprepared when you won the national championship. What, what was that road trip like for you guys going out to Kansas City and winning the title? So it was about we were scheduled to be there from to leave on a Tuesday and if to play the championship on a Tuesday. So that was a seven day trip. So one thing I preach to the guys is prepare now, like pack for seven days. This is a seven day trip. Like don't, don't pack a little bit, pack a lot. We're here for a while. So one thing we always preach to each other was visualizing success. So practicing winning that game and that celebration that goes into visualizing and practicing what we preaching and when it came into the intuition, we were able to conquer the moment. How did your time in Toledo, how did your time at St. Francis help prepare you for this moment? Coach Lewis, I, I got to give him credit because without him, none of this is possible. And my mom um, allowing me to be my own individual and take my own paths and do things a little differently that also helped me because allowing to be myself. Um, now that I'm growing up and being growing into a young man, I'm more accustomed to being alone and making decisions for myself. So I got to give credit to my mom and my parents, my family and Coach Lewis ultimately. Winning a national championship, a great thrill, but it's probably not the biggest thrill you've had the last couple of months. You're a father now. Congratulations, and how has becoming a dad helped make me maybe help that mature pr maturation process on the basketball court? First off, thank you. And um, being a dad is like, you know, it's a wonderful feeling because it's like, no matter what, what you do, no matter the amount of mistakes you make, like you can always come home and see something you created and like you created life. So you can always, no matter a rough day at the office, shots don't fall, um, you're not on your P's and Q's. Coming likes my world. Um, I'm just glad that God allowed me to become a father. Thank you very much, Jaquiel Wells from St. Francis and Shawnee State, now a national championship basketball player. Jaquiel, thank you for spending some time with us. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me.